Welcome to part two of this beginner's face painting course. If you missed part one, which was all about the supplies you need, go ahead and watch that video first. It's up here or linked in the description box below this video. There are two main techniques to apply face paint, using a sponge to cover larger areas and using a brush for fine lines. This video covers all about how to use a face painting sponge. Make sure you have a clean working station, clean hands and all the supplies needed. Water activated face paint, a face paint sponge, a cup filled with clean water, just a few centimeters high, only if you have a spray bottle filled with clean water, a towel and your arm to paint on. Step one, take your sponge and moist one end of the flat side by either carefully dipping a corner into water or spraying it a few times with a spray bottle. I prefer the spray bottle and usually do two to three pumps. Depends on the spray bottle you're using. Either way, you want the sponge to be damp, not soaking wet. Make the test by squeezing it tightly. If there are a few drops coming out, use your towel to get rid of them. Step two, activate the face paint with a damp sponge by making small circles and applying pressure until the paint in the pot is dry. This takes a few moments. Step three, press the sponge onto your arm to check the result. Don't wipe across the skin, but make quick dabbing motions to apply the paint for an even coverage. This swatch is too dry. You can see there isn't enough coverage. Repeat step one and two. This swatch is too wet. It will take too long to dry and the edges are very sharp. Repeat step two. This swatch is perfect. It has good coverage and the edges are smooth. Just a heads up, some face paints are not very suitable for working with sponges, but great for application with brushes. So don't get frustrated if the edges don't look as pleasing. I'll explain these different types of face paint in another video. Let's do the same with a different color. Turn your sponge, moist the other corner, load it with a second color and apply it next to the first color, just as you have learned by making dabbing motions until you're happy with the result. And then see if you can blend the two colors with each other. It works best if the paint is still a bit wet but you can reapply some of the first color if needed. You can go back and forth with the two corners of the sponge or turn it around and use its round surface. Great job, you've just learned a new skill. Take a proud picture of it. You can remove the face paint with warm water and soap. The sponge can be washed in the sink with hot water and soap until normal paint is coming out or be put into the washing machine in a laundry net, wash it at 60 degrees Celsius. Leave the sponge out to dry fully before storing it to avoid getting mold. Next, let's learn how to apply face paint with a brush. I'll see you in part 3 over here.